Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. We're gonna continue our playthrough today and we have a new mech. That mech is a rifleman and I really want to play that. So let's go ahead and just go somewhere where we can test it out. This is a good system here, but I want to go to somewhere where we have, you know, 11 to 12 seems actually quite good. There is a demolition contract, multi-mission assassination, multi, 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 not really what I want. Defense would be nice. You know, good old defense. Sure, there's also Cantina up there, and we need to <clears throat> spend some time in space anyway, because our rifleman takes 112 days, and that is a long, long, long time. Of course, I could now grind missions until that time comes, but I could also just sit in the mech bay and just uh, do nothing and wait for the mech to be ready again. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. It's not optimal, but we have so much money right now that I don't need to play it with super duper high efficiency. Therefore, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we have a supercharger option here. Mm, kill five enforcers. No, I'm not going to do that. Collect two heavy rifle tier two. For three double heat sinks, I will take a look around for that. Mm, absolutely. Target acquisition gear tier five. It's a tag. It has has just better range. All right, and a lot of single heat sinks. Collecting two wolverines should also be possible, right? Let me see. Do we have some? I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any wolvies. We have one wolvie. All right, so we might wanna maybe. I don't want to get some more wolvies. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. We have the uh, defense contract that I definitely want to play. We're playing for the independence. Get all the salvage. And that is a pretty big one. It's a 400 rated mission. So let's see what we can do with our newly acquired mech. I'm going to send the stalker in as well. And we have a new, a new pilot. That new pilot replaces you, maybe? I don't know. 39 out of 58? Seems good, man. You're not really that good with missiles. But nobody is, anyway. No, that's actually quite good. This is better than what it was before. Also, very good with energy weapons. And the Stalker has some large lasers, so yeah. By the way, I'm gonna keep the Hero Max uh, with the same pattern that they come with. Okay? <laughs> and then 85 days. Because I want to actually distinguish them from my other Max. Alrighty. So... Let's get into it. We have a Gauss Rifle, we have an AC-10, we have two medium lasers, four weapon systems, it's not much. We have been contracted to relieve Allied forces at Nav Point All right. Alpha. Let's go! Move in and establish a perimeter around the checkpoint. So, we perimeter around the checkpoints, we can certainly do that. Soon. And I wonder it's how this build plays here. Glad you could make it, Commander. We're expecting trouble any second now. Yeah, okay. So watch your back Not only there. our mech build, but also our lance build. We have a lot of LRMs, long-range missiles, as well as a tag that helps us getting more accurate with those. So, this is kind of a... Yeah, it's a mid to long-range build that we have here. Let's check it out. This is a very small map. Whoa! Holy crap That's a very small map. Yeah, light him up. Okay, that doesn't that, that didn't work. Okay, so far so good. The Gauss has a significant bullet drop. Uh sorry, the AC10. Let's take that arm. Okay. But it works. Oh wait, that didn't work because they're That definitely worked. So, yeah, you know what? Let's take it slow here. And here's the problem. If I want to go all in, if I want to go alpha strike, I can't. I just can't because of the different velocities here. See that? Only the Gauss hit. The AC-10 was completely off. But that's okay. Because I'm going to chain fire my way through this. I need advanced zoom and get used to the Gauss rifle. That's a hit. Tango down. No, that's not a tango down. Unne uh, unless you hit something else there, buddy. Okay. Their on your position, Man, Gauss rifles. Be They're pretty cool. Auto cannon, Gauss rifle. Auto cannon, a Gauss rifle. <laughs> Let's go. I like this map. It's super, super small. That means enemies will come in quite quickly. And we don't have to wait for them for hours. There they are already. It's a tenor. A hunchback and another centurion all right 
Yeah, and I like that we can shoot the missiles early on. Jenna's coming around here in a second. Maybe he's not. All right, let's follow the trail of Max. Let's go in. A hunchback. Nice. So far, so good. They took out the command center. They took out the command center, really? Oh, that's us taking that. <laughs> All right, let's go with that. And man, the different velocities are really hard to manage. I gotta say, I need to streamline this mag. I don't know. What I want is two auto cannon, ten burst fire. That's that's my ideal setup here. But we have a pretty good rate of fire on the auto cannon. That was through the armpit, right? Yeah, I think. Let's go and brawl with that guy. That's a way to deal with them. There we go, right? That's how we do it. Getting just a little closer, so velocity is not that big of a deal. Just like that. Should also shoot the lasers if possible. Get that 80 20 out of here. It's a lot of damage. Alright. Nope, nope, still not. Holy crap, Aroni! That was a lot. Alright, so our range on the Gauss is 800 something meters, which means we can try to get those guys out of the sky. Technically, at that range. Yeah, there we go! That's pretty good. Like that! And we need to leave the auto cannon way more. Yeah, not like that. Come on, guys, help me out with some missiles here. Oh my god, why are you missing all of that? You should keep your locks, buddies. What is that? Your Holy crap. Is pulling in more what? From the surrounding you area. have lock on weapons, you know that, right? You gotta press that R button. <laughs> I am baffled. Uh, anyway, uh, left arm or left side also doesn't look great on my side anymore. Mm. Alrighty. Sure, let's run through all the bays because why not? Yeah, that's a king crab. Ah, we need to go for the king crab quickly. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's so accurate. I love it. It's a miss, but that's out oh, that's leg. Okay. Got him. So, flyer behind us. Uh, should I take it? It's kind of a wasted shot, I guess. I mean, the cooldown. Okay. Was that a headshot? No. No, it wasn't. I mean, it could have been. Okay, guys, help me out with that guy. But give me a line of sight so I can actually shoot him. Alright, I'm gonna pull back. No, nope, I'm gonna push forward. There we go. That was a headshot? I'm, I'm the master of headshots. <laughs> okay, Th that was amazing. Alright, let's go for the Phoenix Hawk. And there is another one of those. Oh, that's a Wolverine, actually. We might want to pick it up for the Cantina mission. Right, so far so good. Definitely a different pace when you play um, a weapon like that. Okay. Enemies have sapped up fuel reserves. And the medium lasers for the win. Or maybe the auto cannon. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I really gotta be careful here. So, I know I'm running into the buildings here. Just talked about not running into it. Okay, so that grasshopper is kind of damaged on his back. I, I will go for the Hanshi though. Then there's an assault mech coming in. It's an awesome. Uh, not good. Not good at all. We gotta be quicker with the kills here. So let's go for this guy now. Helping out the team so they can follow up. That's another headshot opportunity. Yeah, nice shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice shot. Whatever. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, so my left side is getting wrecked, which is not good at all. 
He's not dead. Uh oh. We got him. So, last guy is the awesome in the back. And you know what we're gonna be doing with, uh, with the awesome? We're gonna push him because that thing is all about LRMs, long range missiles. If he cannot lock onto us, if we are in his minimum range, he is not a threat. And more low, actually. I mean, he has a large laser still. Right, we wrecked those uh, trees, but that is it. Hi. I need to right side twist. This is so weird. Actually, I should shoot him. Yeah. We need 180 meters. 180. And I think we are safe now. We're safe from his missiles. Okay, got it. Still has that laser. But I have lasers too. Clean headshot. I think that wasn't headshot. No, it was center. He is exploding. Okay. We did it! Hey, lots of damage on the rifleman though. Of course. And it's kind of a tricky build to get into because of the different velocities. But I think with a bit of training, you can actually pull it off. I can pull it off, I guess. Let's uh, try it again. That was good. A little bit of a change of pace here. Huh. If I ever wanted to go double Gauss, I had to drop so much armor though. And I would probably only be able to use this make at super, super, duper long ranges. Is that a thing I want right now? I don't know. There's an AC-20 that we are supposed to pick up. The Battlemaster is sadly not an option. The King Crab is not an option. By the way, headshot here. Headshot here. Ha <laughs> ha! Headshot here. Alright. I love it. Okay, so we gotta pick up the auto cannon, And I guess we'll take the Centurion for money. And an LRM. And a large laser and we're good. Sure. Ha! <laughs> I mean, you can pull things like that off. Those headshots were, by the way, uh, not intended, but I take them anyway, so thank you. Uh, it's good that it happens. It's good that it's possible. Yeah. Okay. It's all about the accuracy. You did nothing here. I mean, Captain Mosha got three kills. On the Stalker. Cool, cool, cool. So we can turn that in, get a medium rifle, but more importantly, the career reputation. So that's good. And I will pick up the Collect 2 Wolverine mech uh, mission now. Alright. Because we have one already. Also, a new transmission. Ah, it's Spears. Commander, as you know, Interstellar Expeditions relies on independent contractors such as yourself to guarantee the safety of our core personnel in IE's various pursuits. This sometimes means that we must rely on less scrupulous members of society in order to get our work done. No place is more true than our dealings in the deep periphery, where it is often more reliable to simply pay off local pirate groups for protection than risk raids against our various excavation sites. One such group that operates in the Lyran Commonwealth, deep periphery, and the Barons has recently seen themselves dragged into a conflict with the Oberon Confederation, a conflict that are that they are currently losing. Interstellar Operations feels that it is our best interest to provide assistance to our privateer partners in order to prevent information regarding our involvement with the group from reaching the ears of Oberon Confederation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to protect yourself. We would like to contract your outfit to join this pirate group as new recruits and assist them in a series of resupply raids, resupply raids in the Commonwealth space to better prepare themselves and stand up against the Oberon Confederation. As an initiation test, they would like you to perform an objective raid against a series of Haussteiner logistical facilities within the region. This is one of the new missions and we're gonna definitely take that. So guys, buckle up. Um, we have to travel all the way up north into Steiner space, right? Let me take a look. X marks the spot. It's an, uh, it's a T11 one. And this is where we have to go. And we cannot go there in a one jump. Where the hell are we? Somewhere in this region, right? Ah, we are right here. I should take a look at this, uh, hero mech. And then, we're gonna jump further. We can also repair our our stuff here in the industrial hub and we're gonna make a few jumps over to the north of the inner sphere. Lucky for us, we have enough money to buy anything we want, basically. This is really good because we have the whole cold storage filled with mechs and our 
All right, interesting. Um, what I wanted to say is our uh, equipment storage is also full. I see an Ember. I like it because it brings three double heat sinks to the table. That's pretty good. But it's also quite expensive. Not that expensive. We are on Deviant Space, which gives us a bit of a price reduction. So that's nice. Stalker 3 H's, by the way, oh, are pretty good. Do I want some LRM 20s on my side? That would be another Stalker. We would slow down our lands quite significantly, though. This Stalker could be the replacement for the Archer that we are currently running. The long range Archer. It just packs more punch. Way more punch. I like the idea of that. Would I invest 5 million sea bills? I would, I guess. So I cannot purchase that, which is bad because, you know, we have to drop one of our mechs. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to Hanshi. Oh god, is it time? We never really played the Charger as well. Ah. This is an okay Charger. The Marauder is also falling behind. It, it runs an LBX, which is quite good. It's better than the AC-10 that we have right now on the uh, Rifleman. So we can get more ammo in there if we run the LBX. Is it time to say goodbye to the Marauder? I mean, again, we are not really running that thing. I guess so? This Hanshi always fills a good slot with the 50 tons that it brings. Mm -hmm. I'm torn. I'm really torn. And we also invested into this Archer with upgrades, which is uh, a little bit nasty. Okay, I guess I dropped the Marauder. I like the mech, but... Eh. I think the Charger is better than the Marauder right now. Pretty much. Yeah, because it's running SRMs instead of the medium lasers. Uh, okay. I'll drop Maro. Goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. Let's go back to Mech Market. Pick up the Firestarter, purchase it. It's another hero mech that we have, but I will uh, just drop it. And now we have some double heat sinks available again. And now we have a slot open again. Which means uh, that... That, 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 that. Would we even keep that thing? Maybe. With the machine guns and maybe some small pulse lasers, it is an actual good uh, destruction base uh, operator here. Uh, anyway, let's go back Make to sure barracks. No, not barracks. Actually, we can take a look here. But there's nothing here. I actually want the stalker. Let's buy it. It's one of the better stalkers. It's not the best stalker, but one of the better ones. Alrighty. Now, the first thing that we're going to be doing now is we will repair and replace this autocannon 10 with an LB10 autocannon, because LBXs are just better. Ah, I see. It's the splash LBX. I could run two LBX uh, solid easily on this build, on this mech. Is that better here, going for Splash? I mean, this is a very accurate mech with the Gauss Rifle. This is just some DPS that you just punch in all the time. Maybe it's good. I want to try it out. So, with that being said, I can actually afford three tons of ammo. And we will never run out of ammo. I like it. Let's test it. Archer is gonna be repaired. Stalker is gonna be repaired. Orion is gonna be repaired, and now we have the new Stalker, and I obviously want to build that thing. So we will repair, we will drop all of these single heat sinks, get rid of them, we have better stuff here. Okay, so that's the start of our build, that's max armor, that's the first thing. Gonna go down to like 12th, good max front armor, again uh, 12th, and 12th again. So here we are, we have... 0.31 tons too much, so we'll drop a bit of leg armor to get where we want to be. 67, perfect. We have 14 double heat sinks lying around? Are you kidding me? Really? That makes the make so good. Oh god, I think we have to play with Stalker here. <laughs> Alright, what do we have in terms of weapon systems? I honestly like LRM 15s here. We could bring all the 10s, by the way. Four LRM 10s, and then that's it. Nope. That's the wrong one. I'll take those. For that, four tons of ammo, everything into the legs. Those medium lasers need to be replaced with something better. I want... What do I want? 
I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want those medium laser tier 4. So, question. SRMs, yay or nay? We could make it all LRM. Be the ultimate support mech. Something like... God, why are these so weirdly arranged? LRM 10 stream, I don't know. We have a tier 3 and a tier 2. That requires us to pick way more ammunition than we have right now. I honestly do like the SRM path. Sure, why, why not? Let's do it. Something to defend ourselves in close range. We'll take three ones. They are really good. All right, and then... All right, it's probably something like two tons of ammo. Huh? Is that what we do? Is that how we play it? I might overcool the mech right now. I feel like I have too little ammo as well. So, what about... One single heatsink. Uh, put some LRM ammo here and here. And get some SRM ammo in the leg. Okay, guys, I think that's a, that's the build. That is a build. And I do believe it is really good. I need to play that. All right, start work order. Cool, 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 cool. We're gonna paint that mech as well in our primary colors. Perfect. And we definitely wanna upgrade that thing. So let's go ahead. We're gonna take 5% weapon damage. We're gonna take missile range and velocity. Energy range? Energy cooldown? No. Missile spread, thank you very much. Heat capacity seems good with all the double heat sinks that we have in there. Um, acceleration, deceleration. What I think I need is uh, lock retention and, and time. That seems like a good idea. Okay. And that's gonna be our new stalker. I'm super stoked to see that thing in action. Alright. Yeah, we invested a lot of money in order to get all of that. Maybe the ember was not really necessary since we have so many doubles lying around. But I wanted it. So, I got it. Next up, I'm gonna go to the next hub, which is... Let's go to Terra. Let's actually go to Terra. <laughs> Let's make small jumps and see if we can pick up something else that I want more. I can see dropping the charger. I can see dropping the hunchback. So there are some slots open that we can use to buy some more mechs, some, you know, some better mechs. Something to stir up our metagame right now. Meet you in the ready room. Uh, some decent pilots, but nothing crazy. I think I also need to not pick up anything right now. No, it's fine. So, anything here in this area, in this cluster. Nothing. All right. Then we make the next jump over here to Fatima. Let's travel. 62 days. Man, I think I want to play the Stalker as the next uh, mech for our next mission. It's a bit slow for a raid mission, but uh, maybe. Maybe check out the new, the new thing, the new beauty. I like that the Stalker has long range and short range capacity. Ready, sir. Let's get to work. So there's an Atlas on, on sale. Ready, sir. Let's get to work. It's a D variant. It's uh, it's okay. It's an okay mech to have. It's 10 million C bills. Would I mind having an Atlas in my lands? The K variant is, I would say, the best that you can get because of the large ballistic and the two large energy hard points. Double PPC Gauss rifle. So good on that Atlas. I think I want an Atlas as a support mech. It's something that is run by the AI. And I think I want to invest into an Atlas. Good old 3M, Thunderbolt, another Charger, and a Champion. You know what? I'm gonna buy an Atlas. Let's go. Uh, Hunchback, uh, goodbye. And we're gonna buy the Atlas now. Wait a sec, before we do anything. No, there is no hero mech available. Okay, so, mech market, sell. We need to clear out our storage. The Black Knight can certainly go. It's 2 million. The Black Jack can certainly go. Let's actually go with the higher value one, so we don't have to click so often. Catapult C1, sure. Uh, the Crab is actually worth a lot. Oh, because it's centered. That's yeah, pretty good condition still. We need about 10 million and then a bit more. Firestarter H is going. I think I want to sell both of the Firestarters here. And then the Hunchback. Yeah, sell both. The time for Hunchback is over. Now we can purchase an Atlas. And the cool thing is, it is in actual pristine condition since it's one of the rare mechs on this market here. 
I love it. Cool, guys. We have a freaking atlas. And we're gonna make something out of this now. So, what is it? Certainly dropping all of those single heat sinks. This mech deserves doubles. Yeah. So. We have six. Um, I think... I think this is okay for the moment. Again, it's a mech that I probably won't run myself. Um, in terms of uh, weapon systems, I think LRM-10 plus LRM-15 is good here. I like the 15 for its uh, efficiency. It only weighs 7 tons, drops 15 missiles. The 20 is 10 tons. So it's 3 tons more for only 5 missiles more. And LRM-5 is, I think, 1.5 tons. So... Think about it. It's double the amount of uh, of weight for five more missiles that you would get for an LRM-5. Let me quickly confirm that. So that I'm not telling you any lies here. We have an LRM-5. It's two tons. So it's, yeah, okay. It's one additional ton uh, for five missiles compared to an LRM-5. Therefore, the 15 is, I think, in my books, really good. We will give him the best medium lasers that we can acquire. Uh, we can do that. That's pretty good. We give him the best auto cannon 20 that we can acquire. Or is it a 10? Uh, I think it's a 20. We could also make it a Gauss build. But I want to give this one into the hands of an AI pilot, so I guess we'll do it like that. By the way, max armor, because that mech is made for that. Let's go for 12. Actually, give that guy like 15. I think 15 is good here. It's a bit sluggish, it might get surrounded, so it might get shot in the butt. And now we're gonna drop the legs back to, I don't know, 70. This is a lot of armor savings here and a lot of weight savings that we can muster. I don't think he's gonna get legged at all. So 88.5 is where we are right now. Now we need ammunition. So I think it's two tons of AC-20 ammo and three tons of LRM ammo and then we're gonna see what's left over. It's half a ton, wait. There we go, that's what I wanted. Uh, we still have a lot, that's good. So three tons for those. Two tons for the AC-20 is good enough if I want to give it into the hands of an AI pilot. Let's give it another half ton, just to be sure. Okay, and the rest of the mech. Would I dare putting a double heatsink on an arm? I would most likely lose it. It's single heat sinks. It's definitely singles here. And then another one here on the other arm. And we got it. So, we just built a mech. Yes. We have an atlas, everybody. It's a freaking atlas. Look at this guy. Nice. Paint mech, upgrade, keep going. God, am I playing the atlas instead? I think I want the stalker. We'll see. So, um... Paint mag is done, upgrade it, because that atlas is gonna stay for a while. Definitely structure, uh, weapon damage, ballistic range and velocity. Mm -hmm. I like, I like, he's a lot of, running a lot of missiles here, so we're gonna go with that. Ballistic cooldown time, I don't know. And I think the last is heat capacity or something. Seems good. I'll take it, two million and a hundred something days. So, let's keep going, guys. We need to acquire some more money. So, let's play the next mission. We cannot even get there. Oh, my God. Okay. So, in order to get things done, I will quickly go ahead and sell some things. Very quickly. Uh, like those AC-10s here. We need to get to about 2 million C-bills, I think. And then we are good. We have an ERPPC, which is nice. Uh, and we have a bunch of Gauss rifles lying around. What? Would we ever use all of those Gausses? I have no idea. Okay, large lasers. We can sell the tier low. Okay, we have a pulse laser as well. Yeah, we have a bunch of those. And now we are at 3 million. This is enough. This is fine. Cool. So, let's uh, get up here to Graus. Graus. Devin. Let's go to Devin. And then we have to make another jump, because we have to go all the way up to the peripherals. Also, 69 days elapsed. Nice. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, start the next mission. I cannot decide which mech I want to play. Is it the Atlas, or is it going to be the Stalker? I think it's going to be the Stalker. 
here we are. Summer set. Let's do it. Another 41 days. Oh my god. So it was a long jump, but we are here for the Heroes of the Inner Sphere special missions. And this is the pirate one. And we're gonna get a pirate mech. And some of you know maybe already what it's gonna be when I say pirate mech. Alright, level 60 campaign. Let's do it. Drop tonnage is quite high, which I like. And I will take the salvage here. Extreme weather warning is in effect, Commander. Yep. You'll have limited visibility out there and have to contend with sensor malfunctions. Okay, it's fine. It's alright. We can actually bring our full missile lands. And you know what? That's exactly what we're going to be doing here. Not even dropping the Atlas. Tonnage is fine. Visibility is restricted. But who needs that when we have sensors and we have lock-on weapons? So let's go ahead and do that. It's a raid. We are a bit slow, but that's okay. Two Stalkers, an Archer, and an Orion. Beautiful. So this mech not only has long-range capacity, but can also throw some serious short-range. And I think we should be heat neutral in, uh, in the way when we are just shooting our LRMs. So we have a transitional build here that should work. We just received a message from our contact for this operation. Some guy named Yaros Rigas. Patching in the feed now. Hey, Mark. I'm assuming you're arriving at the coordinates I sent your CEO. Sounds like Marcus from Borderlands. Feelings, but we're to put you through an initiation and to verify that you're as good as Spears is telling us. We need you to raid a number of storage facilities in the area that the locals here rely on. Mainly to draw their defenses away from the food and medical storehouses, allowing us to pillage and resupply. Okay. Don't feel bad for the locals. There'll be another shipment on its way soon enough. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna feel bad. I cannot feel bad. I'm kind of working for the pirates here. It doesn't feel right, but okay. So this is a nice black and white scenario where pirates are used to be the bad guys and you don't have to feel bad for them. Nice! Alright, SRM carrier. Down. I have no idea what I'm shooting. I don't see shit! Uh, that's a lot of tanks. Yeah, okay, I'll try. I don't know what to shoot you. Uh, there's an Orion right in front of us. Right in front of us. Hello, mister. Oh god, that's a lot of damage he's dropping. By the way, the heat management is absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful. Such a great mech. Oh, I love it. Oh god, that's a manticore. We should have taken that out quickly. Okay. Crazy attack here. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so, so good. This mech in better weather conditions where I can actually see where I'm shooting. Holy macaroni. I love it. I really do love it. And I assume this is a rather hot environment that we are in here. Am I stuck completely? Let's get out of this. Okay, cool. So, back in action. Let's go and uh, shoot that guy. He's dead already. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go over here. It's a thousand meters away. And man, that sandstorm. It is so crazy. We can't see anything. Another flyer coming down. Goodbye, Igor. Oh. Goodbye, Igor. So, cool thing is, we are actually getting another Cantina mission done with the things that we are doing here. Hey, Commando, get wrecked, please. There's some turrets right next to us. We should probably take them out as well. Yeah, and enemies are behind us. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I want you to attack the quick draw. So, let's see. Missiles are flying. We can now shoot the lasers. Look at the beauty! The 
beauty of the missiles. And, and that's him. <laughs> Let's go. Let us go. Commando has to go as well. And locked onto him. Boom. No idea what I'm shooting. Where I'm shooting. But this is really good. I, I'm really happy that we have those lock-on missiles. I really am. Oh, minimum range now? No problem. We got short range missiles and another tank coming in. Good job, guys. Oh, more tanks even? Maybe down? Oh, this is a party son. Yo, party people. Get down. It should be now. Target destroyed. Man, why are they bringing so much stuff here? It's crazy. Target destroyed. I'm gonna get out of here now. So, status report. Archer is fine. Oh, What's another harasser? That's nice. Yeah, we make this look good. We already destroyed the major defenses of this uh, of this area here. So what I wanted to say earlier, it's a transitional build, which means if we only shoot those LRMs, we are heat neutral. And as soon as the enemies are getting in, we have all of our heat capacity to go in with the short range burst weapons. So that's pretty good. I like builds like that. So, the last thing before we can finally go home is one more base. And I think, okay, there are flyers coming in again. Hello. Got it. So good. Both VTOLs down. Oh, I love the Stalker. The only drawback that the Stalker has here is that it is so slow. It is so damn slow. I mean, it's an assault mag. It runs 48. I guess it's okay. Because an Atlas also runs that speed. The Annihilator is the slowest here, by the way. Next to an Urban Mag. Alright, that guy, that guy's down. Obviously, we're going for mech first. Focus engagement on each target. Big tank coming. Nice, down he goes. And now it's back to the mech. Phoenix Hawk! Let's do it. There's a flyer above us. I should probably take it. Zap! Such a great build. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. You know what? I'm gonna go for the little ones here. It's down, right? Guys, come on. Faster killing on the Phoenix. Also, more flyers, more tanks. Sure. You know what? I'm gonna clear the surroundings here. My teammates can handle the base. No problem. There we go. I always forget that I have those uh, SRMs. That guy has to go. Quickly. Target destroyed. Nice. Alright. I think we got it. Um, have to destroy a thing down here. I don't know exactly what. Because I don't see it. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think it's behind the building. Pretty sure about that. Yeah, let's go around and kill that thing. Wow! Guys, that was a very successful first test run. It was really good. Can I do that? Nah. I can do that. Got him. Commander, it looks like Yaros will be happy with the supply locations we've given him. He sent a new coordinate for our next meeting with a single line message of Meet you here. I've got his sword in our nav computer if you want to continue with this. <laughs> sure. Meet you here. Let's go here then. Okay, uh, there's more coming up. Cool thing, those medium lasers, the high tier ones, they have an amazing range. So we can even take those helicopters quicker now. That is so good, such a good build, so well balanced. It, it does the job, it has ammo still, and quite a lot of it. 
So even in longer missions where we were more under fire, I think we could, could have sustained ourselves even more. It is brawl capable. Like that. The only thing that I don't like is the slow twist rate and the very limited twist angle. So if somebody gets behind you, this is the amount of twist that you have to protect yourself. And um, that might be one of the biggest drawbacks. The mech is really sluggish. So twist angle is super limited and therefore it's something that you want to use to joust, to engage directly, like head on. Not being in the, in the thick of the fight and rotating all the time. But we made it. We've got some repairs to do, and I'm super happy. <laughs> All right. This is also a mech that I would gladly give into the hands of an AI pilot, because it, it just performs quite well, and I think they can they can make something happen with that, with uh, the different engagement ranges as well. So when they're getting pushed, they have the short-range missiles and the medium lasers to defend themselves. Really good. I will take a Phoenix Hawk, I guess. Sure, why not? And then we'll take something down here, like an SRM. You know, I'm not always checking if there's any double heat sinks on the table or anything special. But right now, we're gonna take that. We got 40 kills here. Lots of them were vehicles though, but yeah. Alrighty, and we killed 16 harassers. Finally, we got another heavy rifle. Hooray. Torso twist speed. Upgrade. I wouldn't do that. Torso twist speed is something that... It doesn't really help you so much. It's something for convenience. It doesn't make your mech perform better. Something that you can pull off with your own skill. Something like this here, 5% ballistic damage. Whatever you do, you cannot squeeze out 5% ballistic damage with your own performance. With Torso Twist, it's a little bit different. Therefore, I'm usually taking the things that I cannot acquire myself, that I cannot achieve myself. View transmissions, let's see. Oh, looks like you passed the first trial, Commander. Rigas is excited to see what else he can do. You can do. Uh, he already has another raiding job lined up for you, and Im I imagine this one is going to be tougher. The coordinates they send us are near a military outpost, so it's a good bet you will be looking for weapons and ammo to outfit the pirates. Alright, we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it the next time we see each other. This episode is over, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.